true and you believe that the Obama administration did the right thing, wouldn't it be a good thing for her argument for the people to be able to see what the origins of the investigation were? Right, but that's not what's going on here, Dana. What's going on is an investigation of the investigators as punishment <laughs> coming from an administration punishment. that is overwhelmingly political. I mean, right now, really, they're distracting from the real news with all of this silliness because the real news is that we're going to soon see uh, transcripts of what Michael Flynn and Michael Flynn's lawyer were saying to Trump's lawyers, and we'll see just how much they were trying to stop this investigation. But the second thing to say here is listening to Bill Barr, I mean, he has no reason to do anything. But what he says is, oh, uh, you know what? Let's not talk about the spying. I know I said that earlier. What about what happened between the time Trump was elected and the time he takes office? Let's go and look at what happened in terms of FBI and intelligence agencies talking to Trump at Trump Tower. Did they leak something? He, he just changes the game time and again. He's and that's added, why added no, things to look that's at why. When you look at the Fox News poll that came out yesterday, the Fox News poll says 45 percent of Americans believe that Barr is covering up for Trump and not being transparent. And also they give him a negative rating for how he handled the Mueller report. Forty four percent say they don't approve of what he's done with the Mueller report. Only 35 percent. That feels like a the media destroyed the if That makes you feel better, but it has no effect on it. Anything. That's the truth. The truth. In other no, words, it's a the poll. American, the it's American a poll. people, <laughs> the American people are not being hoodwinked by a guy who is now Trump's lawyer. This is what Trump wished for all along. <laughs> okay. He wanted an attorney so, general who would be his consigliere. Like his wingman. Like Holder was for a while. No, not so, like no, Holder. No, no, wait. Holder never you know what's, went to What's happening level. right now? The Russian story is now into its summer reruns. That's <laughs> what's happening. I saw it on the first run. I don't need to see it again. I know what this Flynn story is about. I know all that, all that crap. That's because the economy is going well. The world's going pretty. It's peaceful. It's prosperous. Everything's fine. They have to keep doing the Russian story. Yeah, just don't look. Don't look. People don't look, here. says Greg. Don't look here. Look no, I don't care. I'm look all get... you want. Yeah, we already looked for two no. years. Now we're looking in <laughs> the other direction. The White what? House talking point is this investigation is done. No, no obstruction, no collusion. Jerry Nadler has said to them repeatedly. I have a point yeah, about that. This is about can I play, can preventing please... the Russians from doing it again. Guys, can we please get Dagan in? But first, can we hear the Attorney General about um, this idea about the very the documents and contempt. Well, it's part of the usual game, you know, political circus that's being played out. It doesn't surprise me. The House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, she she believes you lied under oath. What do you think of that charge? Well, I think it's a, it's a laughable charge, and I think it's largely being made to try to discredit me, partly because they may be concerned about the outcome of a, of a review of what happened during the uh, during the election. Dagan. They're trying to discredit him because they're worried people who worked in the Obama administration, in the FBI, and in the CIA and the intelligence community, they're worried, whether it's Brennan or Comey or even subordinates of both of them, they're worried about what Bill Barr and John Durham and the Inspector General Michael Horowitz are going to find. It's not silliness, Juan, if there was corruption. It's not silliness if there was an abuse of power. And you know why Hillary Clinton is being quiet about this? Because the DNC and Hillary Clinton's campaign paid for that dossier, which could, could be disinformation by Russia, which was... If you read the whole Mueller report, the whole Mueller report basically discredits big, big elements that were in that dossier. And I just want to point this out. I point it out all the time. Jim Comey looked at Brett Baer in the spring of last year and said, I can't definitively say I know that the SEAL dossier was paid for by the DNC and the Clinton campaign. He was running the FBI. They got a warrant on an American citizen to spy on him, and he didn't know that. That is balderdash and hogwash, and mm -hmm, we all know it. And by the way, I also read that poll. Juan, and here's what people said. A majority, 58%, think it is at least somewhat likely the FBI broke the law when it started investigating the Trump campaign. Yeah. The millions of Americans who don't right. trust what went on in intelligence and the FBI under the Obama administration, they deserve answers. No. And there's nothing wrong with a thorough look at it. Because, again, it. it disrupts democracy in this country. There you They've go. had a thorough look. What we're doing now is we're trying to punish the investigation. Mueller didn't oh, look oh, at it. Wow. Mueller Mueller didn't look at it. So Mueller, you Bill like Barr it. said that. I read the whole Mueller, Mueller report. He did look. not look at the investigators and the need, predicate of that investigation. You don't need right. Mueller. Pick up a newspaper. It'll tell hey, you how this started. Juan. Yeah, if, but if, the if press that lied Juan. to us for three years about uh, Russia? Yeah, get out of here. Liars. Oh. All right. All right.